In today's video, we're opening the brand new Phantom Nightmare Yu-Gi-Oh set. What's up guys, we're back with another brand new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Phantom Nightmare First Edition is here and this set is pretty hyped up. We got Yubel on the cover. So honestly, one of the cooler looking box arts we've had in a really long time. I'm just now taking a look at it really for the first time. And we don't usually get like really awesome covers anymore. I feel like if you want the old school, the nostalgia and Yubel is really cool. I mean, it's, it's GX, so it's not the original, but GX at this point is extremely old. And if you watch it back in the day, this is gonna be pretty nostalgic. So really cool to see this on the cover. Yubel's Revenge right there. This should be a pretty fun set. There's a lot of high value cards and I'm hearing a lot of hype about it. The Magician of Bonds and Unity's in here in Quarter Century in the third version. So let's see if we can pull that. Before that, we have a giveaway. What I'll be giving away is just like we do in every new set. We're giving away every pull from this video. So every pull from these two boxes, you guys can win. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card in this set and what you're excited about to see. Let's go and open these 48 packs. Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction platform where you can buy items at auction. You can do buy it now. You can check out the marketplace. You can even become a seller. I've done a lot of streams over there and we will be doing another one coming up this Friday at 5 p.m. Central. We're opening the brand new Phantom Nightmare Yu-Gi-Oh set. And yes, we should have the product this time, unlike Maze of Millennia. These streams are always a ton of fun. You can come check them out by clicking my link down below. You get $15 free credit if you use that link and it's your first time on Whatnot. Make sure to click that link, search my name, Ruxa34, and then bookmark my streams in the future. We have one coming up this Friday and then one in two weeks opening a big first edition LOB box. I hope you guys are there. And no, you don't have to buy something to be there and watch the stream. So if you just want to see us open the new Phantom Nightmare set, open a first edition LOB box and other stuff we've done, such as opening the first 11 sets ever. We've done some pretty amazing stuff on whatnot. You just have to go there and watch. It's just like watching on YouTube, except you have the opportunity to buy something that I'm opening or buy something that I'm selling. So make sure to bookmark my streams and get $15 free credit down below before you sign up. Thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, I've mixed up and gotten out all 48 packs. Let's get right to it. The most expensive card in this set it looks like it's about 88 bucks on pre-release. Keep in mind, that is pre-release. So that is not the current price. Sometimes it'll stay that way. Sometimes it'll go up. Most of the time it will go down. So do not freak out. This is also a core set, not a collector rare set. So we'll be getting QCRs potentially one every three boxes usually. One every four boxes actually. That is CRs I was thinking of. Dark Element and Goblin Biker. So the big card is the Snake Eyes Poplar. There's also another big one called the Low Prayer of the Voiceless Voice. That's 60 bucks at the moment. And then the Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames is a big one as well. It's also the top quarter century secret rare at the moment. I don't know if they've... We got a another Karibo. Mementotlan got it. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but uh, we've got it. So yeah, so there's that and that's the top quarter century secret rare. So there's some big cards right now. That quarter century secret rare is at 600 bucks. That's not going to hold up. They usually don't hold up at 600 uh, QCRs. I've never held up at that amount. I think SP is the most expensive one at like 500 last I checked. So unless this card is as good as SP Little Knight, unlikely because I really don't know a lot about it. But Mystic Potato, that might be a new favorite when I need to pull out all these. That's pretty sick. Uh, what is this? The Ghoul Illusionist, 2K, 4K, or four star monster. That's pretty cool. Eternal Favorite. We have Goblin Biker Boom Mock. We have Junk Dragonlet. Time Reloader. Ruxin Spatula. That's a secret. Horus the Black Flame DD. So we're getting some Horus stuff in here as well. I'd love to see Horus the Black Flame Dragon. I'm guessing not going to be playable, but either way. Pretty cool looking card, I'm not gonna lie. Secret rare right off the bat. Horse, I'm guessing is not super good, but I said that last time and the, the horse cards were actually expensive, or some of them were. Looks like right now it's about a $10 card, so it's probably gonna end up at like a $2 card. So nothing too crazy, but we'll take it. That's a pretty cool card. Horse, the Black Flame Dragon. I know a lot of you guys watching are big fans of old school cards, and that's an old school retrain right there, Ruxin Special. Speaking of, did you guys see, a lot of you guys tagged me on Twitter, Millennium Shield retrain. Whoa, what is this? We'll get back to that in a second. Master of Ham. There are some banger commons in this set. Master of Ham, Samsara D Lotus. I think it's actually a good card. That's like a, Lo a Samsara Lotus retrain. Master of Ham, I mean, check this out. That is so cool. That's an amazing common. It's just two beast monsters, so it's not anything specific. It would have been interesting to see like what they would have given it, but to make it even decent, it has to be generic. Uh, yeah, back to the Millennium Shield retrain we saw that has been revealed. I think it was a Japanese set, so I'm hoping we get one in English pretty soon, because you know if it's a high rarity, we're going to be searching for it. Raid Raptor Bloom, because if it's like a Quarter Century or Starlight or QCR, we're going to be going crazy for that thing. Thing. That will be pretty amazing to grab a pretty awesome card. We have the uh, the Gaddick. We have Fish Lamp. Another cool looking card. I like these commons they've done. Oh, wait, we've got a emergency teleport on the artwork with the. Uh... 
Oh, the psychic guy. What's his name? I can't remember. He used to be a Duel Links guy. We have Dramatic Snake Eye Chase. White Sunfish. Is that a Stunfish uh, retrain? I think it is. Dark Guardian. So many retrains. Oh, Quarter Century! Magispector. Probably not great because it's a Magispector. Orthus new. Magispector Orthus new. We got a QCR. That's amazing. All right, now this is an $80 QCR, so it's probably going to be one of those ones around $30, $40, so it's not like the worst one probably but it's definitely not one of the best but still qcr you guys can win that's pretty amazing right off the bat pulling a magispector new very awesome we've had a secret and a qcr already <gasps> we got a retrain of this little guy or is this a wait this isn't a retrain this just looks like pearly i don't know what that is it looks like a, a big pearly i don't know what that is swallows we have goblins crazy beast we have dramatic snake eye junk dragon light we have procession of the t-jar Ages of Star and Frost, and Terrors of the Afterroot. So we have Terrors of the Underroot, Terrors of the Overroot, now Terrors of the Afterroot. So all these new cards, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four. We've got Sorcerer of Sebek. Chelsea is now calling me. I'm going to have to. Sorry, Chelsea. We're in the middle of a video. Swallows. We have Momomomoko. We have Xyz Force. Convertible. Vaganawa. We have Three-Eyed Ghost. And Raid Raptor Bloom Vulture. Okay. One, two, three, four. Next up is E Stranger Big Bang. Radiance of the Voiceless Voice. Or Fish Lamp. Ultimate Offering. Ult ultimate meat offering wait not ultimate offering ultimate meat offering ultimate offering obviously is a long one so this is a what does this one do during your main phase pay a thousand you can conduct up to three normal summon sets per turn not just one during your opponent's battle phase pay 500 immediately after the effect resolve the normal summon one monster okay what was ult is ultimate offering banned or something because i thought you could do five on that one for 500 each maybe it is banned and this is a, a, a less version or maybe i'm mistaken and maybe th that one doesn't work on the opponent's turn but i thought it did with ultimate offering mature chronicle and Swarvis dragon sage of the voiceless voice voiceless voice seems like a kind of a cool archetype uh you guys are gonna have to let me know about ultimate offering i may be forgetting one two three four cool stuff we have raid raptor oh yeah i need, I need to this is a new opening i need to like not go so slow aroma healing we have white aura we have royal rhino look at that thing it's got a little remote what is no no that's dice the, oh the deceitful dice of course it's in the name all right we have emissary from the house of wax it's marshmallow Marshmallow has made it onto a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Okay, good stuff. Whoa, I almost just threw all those cards. That thing went crazy. Um, Raid Raptor, we have Phantasmal Summoning Beast. That's pretty cool. Dark Guardian, is that going to summon like a god card? Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. That's awesome. Summoning Beasts are amazing. Uh, Obsidim, the Ashen City. Prince of Pug. Oh my gosh, there's some bangers on here. Mystic Potato, that's another one. I've got some good cards in here. I'm liking this. I'm liking the choices so far, Konami. I'm liking what you've done here. Time reload. We still don't have an ultra rare. We have Merc of the Guilty. Still no ultra rare available. Still looking for one of those. We've got a Goblin Biker, Dark Guardian, Three-Eyed Ghost. That's a pretty cool looking card too. I like the art on these. King of the Ashen City. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Ashen is a big archetype in here, I think. I think this is the debut of Ash, and people have been talking a lot about it. Yeah, I don't think. It is the debut of Ash, because I've <laughs> they've never existed before. Are they based off of Ash Blossom, or are they just Ashened? I think they are, because they're Pyros, right? I'm not actually sure about that. We have Psychic Processor. That's a pretty cool-looking card. I like that. It's a Psychic. Uh, we got another Karibo. So there's a lot of cards in here that I would like, like just like to pull aside and keep out of this set. Usually there's like one, so there's like four this time. There's another little ham guy, Master of Ham. We have Upsidem, the Ashen City. Ashens are also far supers that we've pulled. I thought there was going to be like a big secret. So are they low rarity? That'd actually be pretty awesome for people if they're excited about it. Aromalith Rosalina. There's the plants. Shout out, shout out to VOP for his plants. Let's see what we can get. Junk Dragon Dragonlet and Nightmare Pain. The Pain of Nightmare. Still a bunch of packs left. Still only one secret, one ultra pulled, and then a QCR, of course, but... There's a lot of potential left in these. Oh, Enigmaster Packbit. All right, haven't seen this one yet. I don't know if it's a good one, but that is a secret rare, so it's probably decent. We'll take it. Okay, by decent, I mean it's a $6 card right now, so that's probably one of the worst. So the secrets have not been great so far. We have pulled a QCR, though, which is not guaranteed in these openings, so that's good. Goblin Biker Dug Charger. He's charging the dug. All right, what else can we pull? Two Ultras, two Secrets, one QCR. I feel like we're about to pick it up right here. Yep, we got another one. I can't even read this. Promethean Princess Bestower of Flame. Wait, I did not notice. This is an ultra that's at $59 right now. Oh, an ultra rare in a core set is that high? It's the third highest non-QCR card. Surely that won't hold up, right? Because you're going to pull four ultras per... I mean, I don't know. They might have... Do they still have like 11 or 12 ultras now instead of 10? That's insane. That's a huge pull. 
<laughs> All right, so I was like, that sounds familiar. So that's the top QCR is one that is actually an ultra. Check this out. The Promethean Princess Bestower of Flames, $60 card in pre-sale, which is pre-sale. Keep that in mind. It'll probably go down, but you never know. Bonfire, we thought it was going to go down. Then they announced another archetype that goes with it. And now it's still $100, but so it went down a little bit. It was 130, but that's insane. I can't believe there's an ultra that expensive. I wonder if it's short printed. We'll find out when we do all our big openings, which, oh, there's another one. You bell, let's go. The Loving Defender Forever. That's a really cool ultra rare. Very nice. Very nice. But we will be doing more openings. We'll have another opening tomorrow and then a case opening Friday. We'll also be doing a big whatnot stream Friday. I am going to actually have my my uh, product this time, which is very exciting. The Mystic Potato. I should knock on wood just in case something happens. But unlike the bonfire stream, we will actually have something to, to get, which is pretty amazing. Oh, another secret. The black goat laughs. Oh, that is scary. Black goat laughing. I do not want that to happen. Okay, so yeah, we got a lot of big openings. We got Whatnot Friday. Make sure you go check that out. It's going to be super fun. Um, there's an Ashen Common. We have a Spirit of You Bell. Ooh, a super. That's awesome. Spirit of You Bell. So make sure you click my link down below with Whatnot to get $15 free credit. It's uh, If you've never been on Whatnot, you get $15 you can spend on there. Some Sarah D. Lotus. That is not going to cost you anything. And if you guys use my link, it supports me. So appreciate you guys doing that. And also we'll be doing a stream searching for, haven't decided, probably the Magician of Bonds and Unity in here, but there might be a card I want more, Goblin Biker. That'll be Saturday. That's the plan for that on YouTube. So I hope to see you guys there. Should be a pretty amazing opening Phantom Nightmare. I'm excited about it. We have the Psychic Arsenal. A lot of stuff for us to do. A lot of openings. It's going to be super fun. I'm getting pumped about it. There's a, a $60 Ultra here of the Ashen City. Seems like Ashen are low rarity because all these secrets, I don't see anything. So the Ashen stuff seems like it's going to be pretty nice and pretty affordable if it doesn't go too crazy with Clatter Sploder. If it's not like, if it's insanely good, it'll still go up and be, you know, it won't be like a dollar for supers. It'll be more than that, but it'll still be much more affordable than if they were secrets and all that different stuff. So that's good. Very exciting that they have good cards at the top, good cards at the bottom. Raid Raptor, Rising Rebellion, Falcon. That looks pretty cool. That looks a lot like the Galaxy Eyes cards. I feel like the C whatever Galaxy Eyes card. The artwork looks very similar. Okay, we're down to maybe 15 packs left, 12 packs, something like that. We are almost to the end. We have a Raid Raptor, Brave Strix. They have Y Strix, now they have Brave Strix. A lot of awesome cards have been pulled. This is, seems like a pretty awesome set. So it looks like we're getting two good sets in a row. There we go, Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voiceless Voice. The Skull Guardian, is that a retrain of Skull Guardian from TP2? I guess it could be. I haven't seen that they've printed Skull Guardian in here or anything. That's a very expensive rare out of TP2. They have reprinted it once, I think. We have, or have they? Moonlit of the Gote, Prince Pug. I don't know if they actually have reprinted Skull Guardian. May or may not have. Okay, Three-Eyed Ghost, we have Raid Raptor Brave Strix. Very cool. Getting down to the last few packs. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe if you have. And uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel recently. We have Safira, Dragon Queen of the Voiceless Voice. So Safira got a retrain as well in here. So the, a lot of the Voiceless Voice cards look like they're retrains of other cards, like mixed in one archetype, which is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate all you patrons, Patreons, whatever you want to call them, who have been supporting for a long time. Shout out to all you guys. We shout out at the end of the video. And even you guys who are not on the shout out tier, if you're just on you know, the end screen or you're a uh, Discord or a special footage member, I appreciate you guys doing that. It helps a lot with the low end times like January, which is a pretty rough time for like creator, you know, money, you know, because all the Everything's down in January. So all you guys that do that and like support during those times is really helpful. So I appreciate all you guys doing that. Yeah, early in the year can be rough. So thank you guys a lot. I appreciate you guys. We have Walls of the Imperial Tomb. Um, here we go. We've got now six more packs, it looks like. Six more packs of Phantom Nightmare. We have the Spirit of the U-Bell, super rare. Uh, five packs left. And also, and not, not just Patreons, but uh, Patreons. I just mixed both of them. Patreons. Uh, but all you YouTube members as well. Iron Thunder, that's a pretty cool card. I feel like I saw this about a $10 card, I think. If I saw that correctly, it'll probably pop up as like a $50 card and I missed it. But all you guys who have memberships and stuff, I really appreciate that. Uh, you guys can do that as well if you do want to support. It is a it is the join button down below on YouTube. Patreon, actually, uh, you have to click a link. So it's not like, obviously, it's not the YouTube platform. So you got to click a link in the description to do that. I appreciate you guys. Sunset Beat. Two packs left in this opening. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to see more new openings, more old openings, more crazy live streams, stuff like that. We have a porcupine. Okay, Magic Specter Porcupine. That's pretty dope. And our final pack of the day, Phantom Nightmare First Edition. Seems like a pretty fun set. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen any QC... Uh, 
Quality control issues. I was gonna say QCR issues. Quality control issues. The packs seem pretty easy to open. I'm liking the set. It seems like overall they've done a pretty good job of this. We have Swarm of Centipedes. We have Vognawa. We have Master of Ham again. Love that. Mature Chronicles. Goblin Biker and Rise Rank Up Magic Raid Raptors 4. So nothing in that one, but overall pretty amazing opening because we got that awesome Ultra and a QCR. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.